Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce our paper on size oriented long tailed graphic application of graph neural networks. This is a joint work by Zeming, Qihong, Cheng Hao, Yuan, and Jianling from Singapore Management University, Zhejiang University, Salesforce Research Asia, and Alibaba Zhejiang University Joint Institute for Frontier Technologies, respectively. Firstly, let's move to the problem and the related work. In the setting of multi graph classification, the number of nodes in each graph that is the graph size usually follows a long tailed distribution across graphs as shown in this figure A. However, GN for graph level representation learning depends heavily on the structural information of each graph, as shown in figure 1B. Applying GIN for graph, graph classification, applying the graph graphs with large size usually achieve higher accuracy, while the performance gradually drops as the graph size decreases. While GN are capable of drawing expressive and discriminative representations from the head graphs hinge on their sufficient structures, they usually treat the graphs uniformly and uh, marginalize the tail graphs, which suffer from the lack of distinguishable structures. Unsurprisingly, this long-tailed distribution gave rise to the performance differ differentiation between the head and the tail graphs. The inferior performance of tail graphs further limits the overall performance. In this paper, we investigate the significant yet, yet unexplored the problem of size oriented long tailed graph classification by particularly improving the performance of tail graphs. Here, we rank all the graphs by their sizes in a decent order and utilize the top k largest graphs as the head graphs. Several recent studies investig investigate the node level long tailed distribution phenomena on graphs. Uh, they, focus on distinct, they focus on distinct problems and can be directly applied to the multi-graph setting due to their discrepancy. Several related studies investigate the, the effect of graph size on graph learning, such as these three approaches. However, none of them are particularly designed to improve the performance of two graphs. Next, let's move to the challenge and the insights. Compared to the head, tail graphs usually lack inner structures due to their small size sizes, which further restrict the expressiveness of their learned representations. To promote the representational capacity of GN, especially towards tail graphs, a possible solution is through the lens of knowledge transfer from head to tail graphs to enrich the latter, which presents two challenges. First, how to exploit the transferable patterns on head graphs for tail graph enrichment. Second, how to transfer the necessary patterns for tail graphs in consideration of their individuality. To address these challenges, in this paper, we propose a novel graph neural network named the SORT GN towards the size oriented long tailed graph representation learning especially for the promotion of tail graphs. SALT GNN tries to exploit the transferable patterns on the structure abundant head graphs for the sake of enriching the structure scarce tail graphs for more expressive graph representation. To deal with the first challenge, we dispute the pattern relevance by exploiting the substructure co-occurrence on the structure abundant head graphs especially from two perspectives, that is node and the subgraph levels as shown in this figure. To address the second challenge, we devise a novel relevance prediction function with adaptive, adaptivity to preserve the pattern relevance exploited on head graphs and further predict the relevant patterns for tail graphs as a complement. Next, let's move to the proposed model to sort GNN. We present the overall framework of SOLGEN in this figure. Given a set of graphs, including the head and tail, 
we further exploit the co-occurrence substructure on head graphs in figure B from two aspects that is node and the subgraph levels. Afterwards, in figure C, we rely on a relevance prediction function to extract the pattern relevance hinging on the mind co-occurrence substructures and predict the relevant patterns for graphs to serve as a graph complement. Finally, in figure D, we, the complemented graph representations are utilized to form the graph clarification loss by incorporating several auxiliary constraints to enhance the model training. The, the abundant structures on head graphs open an opportunity for us to exploit the transferable patterns from head to tail graphs. On the one hand, graph patterns, graph patterns usually associate with each other to form more advanced structural groups. On the other hand, patterns usually manifest as substructures on a graph. In light of this, we exploit the co-occurrence of substructures to derive the relevance between patterns. Then structural information can be further predicted on tail graphs to complement their scale structures. To achieve this, we resort to a relevance prediction function, phi sub r, to predict the relevant pattern for query embedding h sub q. In particular, relevance prediction function provides us with the ability of preserving the relevance between patterns from head graphs. Thus, it further enables the relevant pattern prediction for the structure scarce tail graphs. In essence, pattern is an abstract concept and can be arbitrary structures on graphs. To capture the relevance from different perspectives, we embody the patterns in two levels, node and the subgraph levels. For node level co-occurrence, nodes are atomic, atomic elements on graph and their representations fundamentally reflect the miniature of local patterns. Therefore, the co-occurrence of nodes on a graph essentially reveals the relevance between the fine local patterns. Intrinsically, the co-occurrence of nodes on a graph reflects the relevance between their contextual structures they reside in, while the relevance wouldn't remain for nodes distributing on different graphs. This motivates us to compose the positive and the negative pairs for the training of phi sub r in a constructive manner. For node level trivial, we randomly sample two nodes, q and a, from the same graph to form the positive pair. Then we further sample a node b from another random head graph as a negative node, such as this trivial. A sampled subgraph intrinsically preserves the partial structure information of the entire graph, and the rest of the graph can serve as its complement to form a holistic overview of the whole graph. In light of this, we further rely on the co-occurrence of subgraphs to derive the complementary characteristic for pattern relevance exploitation. For subgraph level co-occurrence, Given a head graph, we start from a random node to conduct a BFS based sampling to derive a connected subgraph with predefined size as a query. Subsequently, we regard the remaining structure on the graph as a positive sample. Furthermore, we randomly sample a set of nodes from another graph to form the negative instance. In particular, due to the limited structural information, the query can be regarded as a fake structure scarce tail graph, which requires a complement to form a holistic structure. We rely on the dual level co-occurrence triplets to get the training of the relevance prediction function. In particular, given a triplet QAB, we predict Q's relevant pattern representation R sub Q by this equation. And uh, drive R sub Q close to the positive instance H sub A, while away from negative instance H sub B. And we resolve the pattern relevance objective into two parts for node and subgraph level respectively. Here we concretely illustrate the 
pattern relevance prediction. To memorize the technical patterns across graph while holding the capacity to adapt to each specific query for prediction, we divide a novel module named pattern memory for pattern mem memorization. In particular, pattern memory M is a globally shared learnable parameter matrix to record the technical patterns across graphs. Meanwhile, it can also be adapted to each query with respect to its representation in sub-Q to predict, predict its relevant pattern. To achieve this, we resort to the scaling and shifting transformation to modulate the pattern memory M with respect to each sub -Q into an adapted version. Then the relevant pattern representation of query Q can be further distilled from the modulated pattern memory M sub Q uh, as this equation for each, uh, for each graph G sub I. Then we enrich its original graph level representation H sub G sub I by incorporating the predict predicted relevant pattern representation by relevant prediction phi R as this equation. The, the enriched graph representation can be further employed for graph classification. The enriched graph, graph representation can be employed to minimize the graph classification loss. We resolve the task into two parts. That is the task loss for head and the tail graphs respectively, since they may contribute differently to the model optimization for promoting the performance of tail graphs. Given a query graph G sub I, the predicted complement should represent the highly relevant patterns which may occur co-occur with G sub I, but not those similar to G I. Thus, so to stress more on the relevance yet less on similarity between them, we import an additional constraint to make them dissimilar. dissimilar. Uh, and these are pattern relevance laws introduced before. Uh, by integrating all these laws and the constraints, the, the overall objective of thought theory can be formulated like this. Uh, next, let's move to the, to the experiments. Uh, we employ five public benchmark data sets for evaluation as summarized in this table. By default, we employ GIN as a base GIN model to further evaluate the, the flexibility of stop GN, we also use two other popular GN as a base models, namely GCN and GraphSage. We compare salt GN with three categories of baselines, graph kernel approaches, graph neural networks, and the graph pooling approaches. We first conduct the two graph classification with 20% head graphs and employ accuracy as the evaluation metric. Here we employ GIN as a base model for all GNN based approaches. We report the results of tail graph, tail graph classification from two perspectives, that is test and tail in table two, and the sort of GIN significantly outperformed all the baselines. The performance gap between entire testing set and the tail graph set generally emerges on most approaches across five data sets, which demonstrates that uh, the size-oriented long-tailed problem is universal and significant. Uh, and the sort of GIN outperforms it, uh, its base model GIN, which proves the feasibility of pattern relevance extraction on head graphs and the transferability of structural information across graphs. We further utilize GCN and GraphSage as a base GN model and yield sort GCN and SaltSage respectively and show their results in table three. We observe that salt GN outperforms its corresponding base GN model showing the flexibility of salt GN. To evaluate the contribution of each component in salt GN, we conduct an ablation study by comparing with several Degenerate variance, no head graph classification loss of head graphs, no node level pattern relevance loss, no subgraph level pattern relevance loss, and no scaling and shifting factors of pattern memory. From figure four, we can make several observations. First, uh, as a core design of solid GN is to transfer knowledge from head to tail graphs, 
when we remove the graph classification loss of head graphs, the underlying transferable patterns can be effectively extracted on head graphs, resulting in, resulting in, <coughs> in inferior uh, performance. Second, without node of subgraph level pattern re relevance loss, the performance also, also generally decreases, showing that both of them can contribute to the pattern relevance extraction. Third, without the scaling and the shifting factors, subgene can't well adapt the globally shared share the pattern memory towards each query, which impairs the relevance prediction. We can observe that uh, both the training and inference time increase linearly with respect to the graph sizes in figure five, demonstrating the scalability of subgene. Finally, let's, let's move to the conclusions. In this paper, we investigate a significant yet an exploited problem, size oriented long tail graph classification with graph neural networks. To cope with the issue, we propose a novel model software to enrich the structure scarce tail graphs from the lens of knowledge transfer to novel modulus that is co occurrence substructure exploitation and the relevance of prediction function are employed in software. Extensive experiments on failed benchmark data sets demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed software. Okay, that's all for our presentation. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Chingan. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Question from the audience? Um, you, you, okay, you concluded, but you didn't mention any future work. Uh, what would you like to, how do you like to improve this? Uh, um, in this work, we our target is the uh, performance of two graphs, and uh, our strategy can improve the pro the performance of two graphs. But uh, uh, for uh head graphs, uh, the strategy failed to improve the uh, improve the performance of head graph from uh in a uh, knowledge transferring way, uh, and uh, the uh, and, uh, our our method uh, conduct uh, knowledge transferring from from head to tails. The there are very uh, uh, various important uh, patterns in in tail graphs also. Uh, so the usage of tail graphs for in knowledge transferring is still under explored. Uh, this may be our future direction. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any other questions? Uh, 